Alright, welcome back to the channel and uh, our next project. So, this channel has been really about DIY, do it yourself on RVs, teardrop trailers, anything outdoors. So, uh, I like to travel and do some camping. So, uh, that's what this channel's been about and showing you step by step on how to build your projects. Uh, but for this next project, I don't think it's going to be so much as a step-by-step -step project as it is maybe a progress uh, report and uh, give you some updates on what I've done as I'm going along. Anyway, let me show you what the next project is going to be and I hope you're excited about it as I am to get started and get this thing finished. I don't want to spend too much time on it, so it won't be a step-by-step, -step, but uh, I'll show you the progress as I go along. So let me show you what it is. So here is the next project. We have a 2021 Dodge Ram ProMaster 2500. And uh, it takes up pretty much the whole parking space here. This is a 159 inch wheelbase and I am going to attempt to turn this van into an RV. That is the next project. So as we come around uh, we do have a window on one side, sliding door, and as we come around the back we do have windows in the back and nice doors that open pretty wide around on this side no window on this side but uh, I don't think it's going to be needed or at least I don't need it take a look at the inside real quick nice little cockpit 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 and the uh, the seats come installed with swivels so both seats do swivel and your standard uh, dash layout for a Dodge. Very nice. Alright, let's take a look at the back. My home on wheels. Let's take a look at the inside here real quick. Nice and roomy. So this ProMaster came with a subfloor already pre-installed and tie downs which uh, we're just going to cover up with the flooring, won't need those. Uh, and this is glued down pretty good so to pull this up would leave me with a pretty sticky mess. So what we're going to do is go ahead and install our flooring over the top of this subfloor. and I laid out my flooring here just to see how much I need to trim off of one side so when I lay everything over it'll come flush with the uh, the edge here by the door and then we'll stagger we'll stagger all of the uh, seams here so they're not straight across but that uh, that is gonna look pretty nice This van also came with uh, panels on the side here, and so for the ride, it's a nice quiet ride right now, uh, but I'll be taking off these panels here off the sides, and once we get our studs up, we'll get everything insulated, or insulated first, and then put the studs up and uh, run our wiring. So we're going to take this step by step. Uh, we'll figure out what I'm going to do for the first thing. So that's going to be the next project, is uh, fitting out this van. So typically, we're going to have the bed in the back, uh, somewhere about a full size, maybe a little shorter than a full size. Try to do the width, and uh, some counter space, some cabinets, do some cabinets up above, and a cabinet, sink, refrigerator, um, make this thing self-contained. So we're going to take it in small chunks. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, obviously the floor. We're going to go ahead and get the floor laid out, get it laid down, cut to fit, and put together. Once the flooring is done, 
then we'll remove all the side panels and once the side panels are removed then uh, we'll go ahead and install some insulation and once that is installed then we'll run some wiring and we'll start doing the uh, framing uh, and then once the framing is done I think we'll do the ceiling and get the panels up on the sides and then we'll worry about some cabinetry so I'm looking forward to it I think it's going to be a lot of fun and uh, be a nice little project so I hope you stay tuned watch for the progress and uh, well I hope you do like it thanks for sticking around All right, we are in go mode. So I started laying the floor, and uh, it's turning out really nice. I like this pro pro core stuff. So the first thing I did is, as you saw in the beginning, I laid my slats all the way out to the end and figured where I needed to uh, trim. So when I get my boards out here, the last one is going to lay flush with this edge here. So I trimmed a piece, and it's about oh, two and a half, some, some odd inches like that. And I put that along here on this edge, and also here on the back section. Get it over here where you can see, and in the back section. And then I started cutting and fitting, get around this wheel well. Once I started getting this wheel well finished, then it started coming along a lot quicker. So we are uh, getting that floor in and should have it done maybe today. We shall see. We'll get it all the way to the front here and uh, yeah I'm liking that. It's really nice. Alright, I'll give you another uh, update as soon as I get uh, near this edge and around this wheel well. In this back section here, I just made a little cardboard template, and uh, when I get over on that section, I'll just transfer that template onto our Pro Core and cut it out, fit it. Okay, hang in there. All right, this is literally the last piece of flooring that I have to put in, and uh, I like this Pro Core. Easy, easy to work with. Put that in, take and tap this down. All locked in place. All right. Well, let me give you a, a little tour of what this looks like now that all the floor's in. All right, so looking here from the back. Yeah, that turned out really nice. And uh, I chose the color for the color scheme that I'm gonna go with the van. And the floor is just a little bit darker than the van itself. And uh, that's gonna work great. So, did some little trim work around here. I will put uh, some aluminum trim around these edges and also around the edge here on this door and uh, the rest of it would be hill, uh, hidden by wheel wells and cabinetry and all that good stuff in here yeah I'm pretty happy with it turned out really really nice easy to trim easy to cut uh, for the long 
long pieces basically you just take a knife and score it and it snaps right in half and for the other parts I used cardboard figure out the angles and things like that and just trimmed it with a, you can use a jigsaw you could use a utility knife or you could use a band saw so everything fit nice and pretty like yes I am liking it I have enough room in here to chase myself okay I think that's it for the tour here all right I appreciate you coming back in to uh, watch this project I hope you guys stick it out and see what it is that I come up with uh, in my head it looks good we'll see if I can't put it in this machine so that is it not too much of a how-to but uh, just a progress report I uh, installed the floor that's the first thing I think the next thing that we're going to do is go ahead and pull these panels off and take a look and see how we need to install our framing uh, we're going to get our insulation in and we'll start moving forward I'm looking forward to getting this thing uh, underway and done at some point so till then stay tuned